Do you have a Daytech IP security camera and you just can't get that sucker connected to a second mobile device? Well, have no fear. I figured it out and I'm going to show you how to do it coming up next. Hey folks, Tommy with Alderman Farms here. Recently, we decided to look into purchasing IP security cameras. A camera that we could mount in our barn to keep an eye on the critters, to uh, keep a sharp lookout for predators and whatnot, that we could connect to the internet and monitor with our iPhones. So we selected the Daytech DTC8816. The only caveat was everybody said, hey, it's a booger to get hooked up to your Wi-Fi, but once you do, it works flawlessly. And we certainly found that to be the case. We had a little bit of difficulty getting it hooked up to the Wi-Fi, had to reset the camera a few times, but once it caught, it's amazing. Where we really had trouble was getting it, uh, we, we would connect it using one iPhone, and we wanted to be able to watch it on multiple iPhones. And uh, the difficulty was setting it up on a second iPhone once you had it connected to the first. The problem is, the instructions are a poor translation from Chinese and it left a lot to be desired. So we just kind of had to fight our way through it and figure out exactly what was happening and what we needed to do. The good news is we discovered what to do and so I'm going to show you now how to do that. So assuming you already own the, the Daytech camera, the DTC8816, uh, uh, the instructions will tell you the first thing you need to do is download the app. You can scan a uh, barcode on the box. It'll take you to the App Store if you're using an iPhone or Google Play uh, for Android to download the COT Pro app. So that's the first step and you got to do that before you can do anything else. Now in this demonstration, I I'm going to assume, as I said, you've already got the camera. You've downloaded the app and you've got the camera successfully connected to Wi-Fi on the initial device. So the first thing you need to do is click the little notepad with a pencil because you've got to get some information from there on, on this camera. So I'm going to push that. And then you see the number at the top? Now this will be different on your camera. It'll be a unique number on your camera, but you need to uh, make note of that number because you're going to need it when you go to your second device to install this camera. Now you see the underneath there where it says BR, that's just a name for the camera. Uh, again, you'll need that. And also there is a device password that you, the camera comes with a factory uh, installed or factory established password and you're required to change that password. So you need to change that password. You need to know what it is, so you write it down. You need to write down the device ID number, which is this number at the top. Um, the device, the camera name can be anything that you want it to be, and it can be different on every phone. So you don't necessarily need to write that down, but you do need to write down the device password. So once you have that, then you can move on to the second device. Remember, you're going to be doing this on a, a phone that has not had any of these cameras connected yet. So you're going to get to the add device screen a little bit differently than I am on my iPhone because I've already got camera, uh, the camera connected. Um, but you see the little plus sign? Now that's how I'm going to get to add to the add a device screen. So I'm going to touch that. And then I'm going to select add manually. I'm just going to ignore the other options at this point and click add manually. Now, remember the number that uh, was at the very top of the screen, the device ID number? You put it here, input camera device ID. You type that number in. On the second blank, you put uh, a, whatever you want to call it on that second phone. It can be the same name in our example uh, we had one BR for barn right. Um, you can, or you can make it whatever you want. It does not have to be the same name on every phone. So you give the device a customized camera device name. <laughs> Notice that should be customized. Again, the 
poor translation from Chinese. And then finally, you input here the camera device password that is the same as you set up for that device on the first phone. And when you do that, you click save and voila, you will have it connected on the second phone. Now here's the exciting thing that we found, and I need you to let us know in the comments if you found this to be true as well. The second device does not have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi as the camera in order to connect. Now, the Daytech employees responding to comments on Amazon indicated otherwise, that it did have to be on the same Wi-Fi network, but we have discovered that it does not. We gave uh, instant access to someone we know who lives in a completely other state. Uh, we told them to download the app from the App Store, we gave them our account ID and login password for our account, and then we took them through the steps uh, to add the camera just as we've outlined for you in this video. And as soon as they hit save, boom, it recognized the camera in a whole nother state and uh, she was able to watch the camera remotely. So we were excited about that. Now, if you found otherwise, uh, if you've had other kind of issues with your camera, leave us a comment below. And um, I don't know, we don't know everything, but maybe we can help you uh, figure out how to use your Daytech camera. Um, we love ours. We'll probably do another video as soon as I kind of figure out how to do it, showing you the footage of the camera and how great it looks. It's crystal clear. Uh, there's a slight delay. It's about a second to a second and a half behind live, but it's awesome. We may see if we can't figure out how to use this to do our 24-hour live piglet cam. How about that? So leave us some comments if you have questions. Or what do you think? Did we do okay with this? I'm not, I don't do too many tutorials. I've only done one or two. Tell me how I could have done better. We appreciate any likes, any shares, and a subscription, of course. Thanks. We'll talk soon.